Dragon, along with Agama, is the common name for many species in the Agamid family, but some of them have entirely different common names. Some of these species are commonly known as Mastiguires, Bloodsuckers, and Japalures, among other names. The name Mastigure is used for some of the Uromastix species. It's a Latin synonym of the more common name. Uromastix means something like whiptail, and is in reference to these dragons' spiny tails. The name Bloodsucker is likely in reference to this dragon's bright red throat and neck. However, the actual reasoning behind the name is undocumented. Its name, in the local language, also translates to Bloodsucker, so it could have been derived from this native name. The name Japiler may sound like something from Japan, but these lizards aren't known to hail from the island region. Instead, these dragons are present in China, India, and some other parts of Asia, with the name likely in reference to an Indian locale. No matter their name, dragons can be found all over the world. Well, at least most of it. In a curious case of distribution, dragon lizards are entirely absent not just from the Americas, but also Madagascar, even though they are present in continental African countries. What's more, where dragons live, iguanas do not, and vice versa. Male Spider-Man agamas display blue and red scales, which have gained them their secondary common name. Not only do these dragons scale vertical surfaces, much like the Marvel superhero, Spider-Man Agamas, along with many other dragon species, can run on two legs. Perhaps one of the most famous dragon species is also one of the most famous pet dragons. It's the bearded dragon. Did you know these lizards have the name Beard both in their common name and scientifically speaking? Their genus name also means Beard. Mythical dragons are well known for the capacity to fly, but there are also real-life flying dragons as well. Flying dragons can glide on their wing-like membranes to move around their environment. Their wings are formed by supersized ribs, somewhat like the hood of a cobra. When you think of a dragon, do you think of it having ears? What about a lizard? In the case of most dragon lizards, like other lizard species, they have ear holes, which helps differentiate them from snakes, who lack external ear holes. There are, however, some dragon species known as earless agamas. The forest dragons share their genus name with another group of entirely different animals. A catfish genus shares the name as a synonym. Considering some dragon mythos has them transforming from fish, this feels like a neat naming happenstance to point out. You may have also heard that some dragons run, and their teeth never fall out. But if you weren't aware of these facts, you can learn all about them and more in our full dragon episode. There's a card on screen you can click right now. Go ahead, click it. There's lots to learn. And thanks for watching Animal Fact Files.